personally think I outdid myself on the lunch there so I'm gonna fully enjoy this now before we really start the day. I like mean start the day I've, I've already had like breakfast and did some work on the computer and baked a lot of cookies and organized shit but that was all boring stuff so after this we're gonna go for a walk and then later today we're actually visiting another Christmas market. Um, so yeah stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs> Coffee number three of the day. Um, today's just that kind of day. I've really, it's like 4 p.m. I've spent all my day inside. It's a Saturday. I'm sorry that my life sometimes is so boring, but I feel like after this week, I also needed a break. Like I feel very physically and mentally just exhausted. So I just took the afternoon off after I just showed you my lunch. Um, and I've also been working on this package which I want to send home. Hopefully that's even possible because it's so hard to figure out how to send stuff home and it's also gonna be so expensive. Home, I'm in Germany. Um, so I've been preparing all the letters and postcards and presents like for each of my friends and family members. Uh, seeing if I even have everything or if I still need to buy stuff, but I think I should be good, hopefully. nearly everybody now. Only but like person missing is still my dad. Who I still need to write the letter to. And I think my cousin or something. I have his package still lying around and my letter written. So yeah. Okay. So three letters to go. I should be able to do this. Um and hopefully a reasonable amount of time. And here. See you when I finish with that, I guess. <laughs> I'll update you on, I think Monday, I'm gonna try to go to the post office on how that goes. Um, Cause that's gonna be a whole experience again, I feel like. I've been to the post office only once to get my like bank card, cause I'm with the Yucho Bank, so the post office in Japan's bank, I guess. Um, and that was already like, not traumatic, but just a hard thing to do. Mm, with the whole paper stuff, so... Mm. Ah, I put too much syrup in this coffee.
as always. <laughs> uh, but I quickly want to wrap this video up again and say a few words about yesterday evening. So as you saw, we actually originally wanted to go to the Tokyo Christmas market, but we weren't allowed in because there were just too many people there and we didn't reserve tickets, idiotically speaking, I guess. But I think we want to try again this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. We're still gonna go to the biggest Christmas market in Tokyo, which is what this is actually. Yesterday I actually wanted to walk there to Hibiya, but I didn't walk all the way, it was way too long. I walked, I guess, until maybe close to Ueno and then took the Hibiya line towards Hibiya. Uh, which was also where we were afterwards just to look at the Hibiya illuminations. And that is a thing that is very specific for Japanese Christmas time, I guess, the illuminations. And they're like everywhere, in all the big cities they all have them, but there are a few that are more popular than others. For example, I think the most popular is actually the Roppongi one. I haven't been to that one yet, but I really want to go also just for the video. Japanese illuminations around Christmas time are really pretty, though I wonder really how, like, about this, like, electricity cost, because it's like so much light all the time during all hours of the night. Um, it's quite amazing actually and also really really beautiful like the Hibiya one has been my favorite so far even though a lot of friends like when we were there they were all like oh my god so blue it's so unnatural but I kind of like that kind of shade of blue that's like yeah I mean obviously it's unnatural and everything but I just think it looks really pretty as well but once again I also noticed the thing that I love most about Tokyo which is the night I think Tokyo is a city that has to be seen at night. Of course you can do amazing sightseeing during the daytime as well and have amazing times and food and stuff, but I feel like Tokyo comes to life during the night, like unless, unlike any other city does. Like A, it's always safe, like, no matter what time it is, it's always safe to walk around in Tokyo at night. At least for me, I've, I haven't experienced anything weird yet. Um, and that's like in Germany or where I've lived before, I would have never been able to just walk around during the night and not feel any danger at all like it's so safe here and then also just all the lights all the illuminations all the people like there's always so many people of course because there's always so many people in tokyo but like during christmas time with all the lights i feel like just it gets especially beautiful and if you're here right now i really recommend you to just go out at night take a walk through the city go see the illuminations and just uh, have a great time because it's really really amazing it always makes me feel like I'm just part of another world in a way. Like I'm living this life and then when I go out at night I suddenly am in another world and there's so much to see and do that you just forget all about your worries or problems because it's just there's so much. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. It's so much. It makes me grateful every single time to go out and to be here and yeah. So I just wanted to speak about that quickly as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'm sending so many hugs. Have a nice day, have a nice night, whoever you are. And bye, be back on my channel.